Good morning. Welcome to St. Joseph's. Welcome to Mass today. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, for announcements, um, in your pews, you will have noticed uh, these, these archdiocese one. Um, you probably have received an envelope uh, or some letter in the mail, I guess, from Archbishop. But if you didn't, uh, uh, this is a way to give to Archdiocese one to do a pledge. So if you haven't received uh, a letter, you're welcome to take one of these today um, and to prayerfully consider giving. Uh, uh, also, I uh, wanted to mention, I know I briefly mentioned in my uh, bulletin article, but if you are interested in, uh, in uh, uh, pastoral council or faith formation commission uh, committee, I uh, would encourage you to please consider uh, joining uh, one of those committees here at St. Joseph's. Uh, faith formation is not only just, just for the faith formation of our children, of our youth, but also for adults. Um, and pastoral council is you know, concerned with you know, the, the activities of, of our parish and how to continue to grow and to evangelize and to build our movement forward. Um, so if you are interested in joining either pastoral council or faith formation, you're very welcome to. Just encourage you to talk to me. Um, it's just, just inviting you all to consider that, to prayerfully consider that, um, along, with, along, with, uh, along with being a... Uh, a cemetery director as well, so we're still looking for some volunteers for that. Uh, so please do consider. I would strongly encourage you to consider um, and invite you to that. Um, also, wanted to mention I was off this past week. I'll begin off this next week. Uh, so no, my prayer says I'm as I'm off. I know it's supposed to be a warm week, but uh, it'll be a week where I enjoy some air conditioning, um, probably along with most of you. But uh, we will have a word and communion service this Wednesday. Deacon Greg will lead that. Uh, I'll be back on Friday of this week. Um, uh, finally, I want to mention uh, today is Coffee and Donuts Day, but we decided to do something extra special. Um, so we're actually doing bingo as well during Coffee and Donuts. Uh, Lyle, Lyle has uh, graciously agreed to call uh, bingo. Um, so if you'd like to play some bingo after Mass, you're very welcome to join us immediately in the hall. And while you play bingo, enjoy some, some good old donuts and cookies as well. Uh, that's pretty much it. So let us stand and greet our neighbor.
And let us gather together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and my sisters, as we gather together this day on this Trinity Sunday, we gather knowing that the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit is with us, entering into our hearts, our lives, and forgiving us of all of our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God of mercy on us forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. God, our Father, who by sending us into the world the word of truth and the spirit of sanctification, made known to the human race your wondrous mystery, grant us, we pray, that in professing the true faith, we may acknowledge the trinity of eternal glory and adore your unity, powerful in majesty. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. 
A reading from the book of Proverbs. Thus says the wisdom of God. The Lord possessed me, the beginning of his ways, the forerunner of his prodigies of long ago. From of old I was poured forth at the first before the earth. When there were no depths, I was brought forth. When there were no fountains or springs of water, before the mountains were settled into place, before the hills, I was brought forth. Well, as yet the earth and the fields were not made, nor the first clods of the world. When the Lord established the heavens, I was there. When he marked out the vault over the face of the deep, when he made firm the skies above, when he fixed fast the foundations of the earth, when he set for the sea its limits, so that the waters should not transgress his command. Then as I beside him as his craftsman, and I was his delight day by day, playing before him all the while, playing on the surface of his earth, and I found delight in the human race. The word of the Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, therefore, since we have been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have gained access by faith to this grace in which we stand, and we boast in hope of the glory of God. Not only that, but we can even boast of our afflictions. 
knowing that afflictions produce endurance, and endurance proven character, and proven character hope. And hope does not disappoint because the love of God has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit that has been given to us. The word of the Lord. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Lord, Jesus said to his disciples, I have much more to tell you, but you cannot bear it now. But when he comes, the Spirit of truth, he will guide you to all truth. He will not only speak on his own, but he will speak what he hears and will declare to you the things that are coming. He will glorify me, because he will take from what is mine and declare it to you. Everything that the Father has is mine. For this reason I told you that he will take from what is mine and declare it to you. The Gospel of the Lord. When I first arrived in Jackson County in 2018, uh, four years ago, I had, I had a lot of stuff to unpack. I had a lot of stuff to do. Um, whenever we move, there's a ton of things on the to-do list to do. So after I had my house in general order, I made my way to the courthouse. Uh, I decided I should, I should get my driver's license updated with the new address and new picture and all that sort of stuff. So when I arrived, I made a straight line right to the DMV and met a very efficient person who had me ask the usual questions and um, then came the part I was dreading, the, the picture. Um, and then the eyesight. Granted, this was before I had my eye surgery, um, so I still had my glasses on, if you remember I wore glasses a couple years ago. Um, so they pointed to the, the famous uh, eye vision machine and said mechanically, you know, take off your glasses, put your eye in the, put your uh, chin in the, on the pad and look into the eyepiece um, and begin to read the first line. So knowing that my eyes would be youth, useless, you know, it's pointless uh, to try to see without them, I, I, I argued with her, not, not very dramatically, I just said, oh, I don't think I really can see without them, but uh, they'd heard this many times before and they said, again, I need you to take off your glasses and just look into the machine. Um, and when I looked into the machine, all I saw was a blurry uh, mess of letters. Um, I, I swear mixed in with the A's and the T's and the S's were, of all things, smiley faces and, and po lo lo lollipops. Um, it's not something I expected to see in a vision test, but there they were. The lenses in my glasses, they, they were the only way I could see this test clearly. I knew that, but I had to wear my glasses. Now, I don't need them anymore. I guess I got surgery, but holding the, the image of glasses, um, it permits us to see clearly around us. I'm sure 
A lot of us are wearing glasses today um, or contacts. So in this great solemnity of the Holy Trinity, uh, Jesus is a lens. A lens we can use to see more clearly God. Or perhaps more accurately, he's like a microscopic lens which we can see into the heart of who God is. So it's through, the, it's through the eyes of Jesus and through his words that we can see deep into his heart and see clearly who God is. God is a community, a person. So, you know, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, um, you know, we do the sign of the cross before prayers and our taught in school, uh, God is three persons in one. Um, but his essence, we all know God is love. And Jesus is the lens. It helps us to see that God is love. So the good news of today is, is that we have been a clear, we've been given this clear and powerful vision of who our God is, this divine family, united in love. So there's three persons, right? Uh, so why must God be Father, Son, and Holy Spirit? Why must there be three persons? Why not just one? Why not just make it simple and easy? Well, because love is not easy. Love requires another. Sure, in this case it requires a family, but we can love ourselves. We can love ourselves, but, but that's only just a small image of what true love is. We have to have another person to truly open up our hearts and to give ourselves to another person. It's in that giving and receiving that love that we know what true love is. Our Catholic tradition has famously said, God is love, and the Father loving the Son, the Son loving the Father, it's that mutual love back and forth, and that love is the gift of the Holy Spirit given to us as the Holy Spirit, um, which is given to us as most precious creatures. So each of us here today has experienced love. But we've all experienced the opposite of that the dramatic opposite of that. We've experienced hurt. We've experienced hate. We've experienced disappointments. Just ask the person taking my eye test, the DMV that day. Just ask the farmers on the road uh, who get honked at for driving too slow. Just ask the server at the restaurant uh, who is having to deal with a customer who's not very happy. Just ask the child who has been bullied for the hundredth time. Just ask the person sitting to our right or to our left. We each have been hurt. We each have been damaged. We've each seen the opposite of love. And unfortunately, that hurt, well, we hold on to it. We let it become who we are. Something that God doesn't intend. And we know that. And when our confidence of being loved has been obscured by our human history, today we proclaim this most vital message of our lives, that no matter what our hurts, our Heavenly Father is completely love. And thus we are loved. That's the truth about us. No, no matter what others may have said or done, we are loved. Because the family that gave us life, God is love. And we see this most love, most given in the family of, of God, in Jesus, Mary and Joseph, in Jesus. In the famous quote from John, we hear, uh, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son. So today we put on our spiritual lenses, our spiritual glasses, to help us look for the Trinity in our lives, to help us look for that love. Sure, it's a mystery, that's blurry without God's help. But at the same time, it's also clear. Because we all know, we all know what true love looks like. And let us proclaim our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. 
I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate to the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. This kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. On this day in worshiping the Trinity, we bring our prayers to our Father, who is the creator of all that is good. That the wisdom and power of the Holy Spirit may guide the church, her shepherds, and all the faithful, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the unity and harmony of the Holy Trinity be evident among the nations of the world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That Christian families around the world may embody and experience unconditional love and advance in holiness in their daily lives, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the success of the Archdiocese One Special Appeal, that God will inspire all members of the Archdiocesan family to make a sacrificial gift to help the poor and support the mission of the church, we pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayer. That the poor, the sick, and all who suffer may be filled with the life of the Trinity and experience the loving presence of God's people, we pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayer. For all the people in our parish, and especially for Wayne and Kevin Cluft, and for the Gerald Smithson and Smithson and Henningsen families, we pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have died may enjoy their heavenly reward for lives lived in service to Christ and his gospel, we pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayer. God, our Father, hear and answer all of our prayers today through Christ our Lord. Amen.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Sanctified by the invocation of your name, we pray, O Lord our God, this oblation of our service, and by it make of us an eternal offering to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for with your only begotten Son and the Holy Spirit, you are one God, one Lord, not in the unity of a single person, but in a trinity of one substance. For what you have revealed to us of your glory, we believe equally of your Son and of the Holy Spirit, so that in the confessing of the true and eternal Godhead, you might be adored in what is proper to each person, their unity in substance, and their equality and majesty. For this is praised by angels and archangels, cherubim too and seraphim, who never cease to cry out each day, as with one voice they acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your time. 
therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Michael, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy Take away the sins of the world. Grant us your peace. 
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. May receiving the sacraments, O Lord our God, bring us health of body and soul as we confess your eternal Holy Trinity and undivided unity through Christ our Lord. Amen. Again, we do have coffee donuts after Mass today, so please join us. Um, uh, we also have bingo going on as well. Uh, so please just stop by and by to your right. Uh, even if you can't stay for bingo, uh, please do grab a donut and, uh, and a cookie too. Um, but if you do have time, would encourage you to play a couple rounds, even try to beat me. I challenge you to try to beat me at bingo. Um, it'll be a mystery if it does happen, just like to Trinity, but, but, uh, but you never know. You never know. Uh, yeah, have a, have a beautiful week, everyone. Uh, the Lord be with you. And, with and may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord.